Why did I want to become a police officer? I believe it's because I wanted to serve my community. To protect my city. To keep it clear from criminals. To keep the streets safe. You know something? I believe it's my calling. Hello. Hey, catch any bad guys lately? A few. This will teach you to respect the parking regulations. This is Central Attentional Units, robbery in progress. Copy, Central. Heading to location. Still, you're under arrest. <laughs> I'll be out in 24 hours, cop. This is Central. We've received reports of a shootout. Copy, Central. I'm on my way. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. This is nice work. It's new, isn't it? <laughs> you know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. Tell me, boy, who are you? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who burned it to the ground? That's him. That's the bastard who led the attack at Scalitz and killed my parents. I'm sure we're all agreed that all this unrest must come to an end. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse and who murdered my parents, get the sword back from him, and skewer him with it. to put a stop to this senseless war! Welcome to Rome. This is the first of our video updates where you can see a glimpse into one of our walkthroughs of Life of Rome. Today we cover a few of the main monuments that you can explore in the world. The first is the Pantheon. This is used in the world of Life of Rome as a central location for players and families to meet, converse and pray. Next, we head closer to the Tiber and make our way towards the Theatre of Marcellus. We explore the back alleys on Tiber Island on the southern bend of the Tiber, complete with locally produced goods to purchase, followed by a look at the Temple of Asclepius and the central obelisk. Here is a taster of the breathtaking scale of the Circus Maximus. Next, we head through the Temple of Venus towards the Colosseum, unfolding to reveal the Colossus of Nero. Heading through the gates, you get to experience the Colosseum in all its glory. Now we head to the top of the smallest of the core seven hills, Capitoline Hill, 
unveiling the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. And here we head to lower ground, overlooking the Forum. This is a small taster of what you can expect to find when you step into the rich and amazing open-ended world of Life of Rome. I'm veteran game developer John Vanderswet, and I'm excited to show you today what we've been working on for the last few months in absolute secrecy. Identity is an MMORPG that's unlike any other you've ever played. It's not based on levels or skill progression, it's based on you, your character, and what you want to do with it. Identity is all about giving absolute freedom in a world that's full of other people and fun things to do. We've gotten rid of most of the AI and replaced it with people. It's people who are driving down the street, and it's people who run for governor. It's people who play as police officers and fight crime. You'll find sports, car racing, paintball matches, and more others than I have time to list. If living off the land is your sort of thing, you can make a pretty good living hunting or fishing. Identity is all about the freedom to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. While Identity is an MMORPG in most ways, we're going to be offering you the option to rent your own servers too. So if you want a different, more specialized style of gameplay than our official servers have, such as maybe hardcore role-playing or some kind of like endless action, server operators are going to have control over hundreds of features to customize what they want. Alright, your water tower, that suspect's in custody, nobody is coming to prove it, it's still a hot scene. If you're somebody that likes to take the quiet route, you can form a business and play the market, or you could take the other way. You could become a criminal, you could rob people, you could rob banks, you could steal cars. Everything is open for player interaction. The land identity is enormous with all sorts of landscapes from cities, farms, and wilderness. There really is so much more I wish I could show you with this, but we've only just gotten started here.
Motoren bereit. Hans, anblasen! 